the risk of sounding like an infomercial, I wanted to take a few minutes to discuss with you what is arguably the magnum opus of my craft teaching and practice. That is this massive three course study guide that is the Red Thread Academy. This three course curriculum guide distills all of, all, all of the teachings and practices of my craft tradition. Ugh, that's heavy. But wait, there's more. As a bonus, I'm going to share with viewers a way to get these and other of my books for free. Yeah, pretty infomercially, but I am bringing you such great stuff that I feel exactly 0% bad about that. Hi, I'm Lorelai Black, this is Blade and Broom, and we are here to talk about sweet, sweet witchcraft. Through most of December and then all of January, I slipped into that not producing content on YouTube phase again, for which I do apologize. But I'm really excited about the reasons why. Mostly, it's that I've been in ultra productive Lorelai mode. In December, I wrapped up the writing and editing for one book project. And in January, I published two books that are brand new, got two of my older titles ready for re-release as new editions. Um, and they're also both being released in Brazil in Portuguese for the first time. So I'm excited about that. I have nearly finished the draft of a long-awaited installment in the Witch's Rune series. And I put the finishing touches on the first Asteria Mystery School digital course module about the history of witchcraft. And I released the first piece of work within the Mother Hopkins Pagan Home Education resource materials that frankly I'm also very excited about and we'll talk with you about on a different occasion. That's a lot for like a month and a half time period. So for regular viewers of this channel who will have heard about the Red Thread Academy before, this book right here represents the third and final course guide for that Red Thread Academy School of American Folkloric Witchcraft. I'm so excited y'all. It's all done and it's ready for you and whoever else wants it. Okay, so let me give you some details. Let's start with the history. Way, way back in 2009, my now ex-wife, then girlfriend, and I founded a tradition of witchcraft that we called the Spiral Castle tradition. We took that name as a reference to the symbol that is literally and figuratively at the heart of the cosmology for our tradition. The spiral castle, or Kershi, is a term that gets used a lot within Cochranian derived versions of the craft. Those things that are based sort of, at least on some level, on the writings of Roy Bowers, AKA Robert Cochran. And that am us. We are essentially a spiritual great-grandchild of the clan of Tubal-Cain. And a lot of the writings of clan of Tubal-Cain, 1734, etc., are at the heart of what we do. We called our smaller working group, our coven, Coven Kershi. Kershi, Spiral Castle, we're pretty dedicated to that symbol. Then a couple of years later in 2011, we started writing and publishing about our tradition in detail on the American Folkloric Witchcraft blog. That was at afwcraft.blogspot.com and that blog still exists for people who are interested in checking it out. Still gets a lot of visits because the material continues to be good. 
although nobody's contributed to it in several years because we sort of split and went our separate ways, like you do. Since that time, ever since 2011, when we first started writing and posting about our craft, we, I, I can really only speak to my experience, so I'll say I, have been approached by um, a lot of people all over the world wanting to know if it was possible to study with us at a distance in some way. And back then, I really didn't have the wherewithal to make that happen. That wasn't something that I was able to figure out how to put into place. However, in 2018, I got very focused on being able to make the materials available um, in some kind of way. And I started putting together the, the foundations of the curriculum guide that would become this series of books. And then I got super focused on that project in 2020 when the global you know what made it so that none of us could get together, including people that were already semi-local or at least regional to me who had been meeting. I wanted to make our teachings available to folks who couldn't be with us. And at that time, that was everybody, <laughs> including us. So in 2020, I cleaned up and repackaged the first curriculum guide and took it from being strictly a PDF into also being available as a paperback here. Purpose. These course guides actually represent something that isn't really seen right now and that I don't think has really ever been made available before and that is that they are an opportunity for students of the craft to self-dedicate and self-initiate all the way through third degree within a specific tradition of witchcraft. I'm not presenting eclectic Wicca in these books. I'm not even presenting general trad craft in these books. This is spiral castle tradition witchcraft in its entirety. Traditions, by definition, are replicatable systems of practice. And this specific tradition of witchcraft is now available via means other than oral transmission, which has been sort of the most common, most prolific way that witchcraft has been passed down for as long as we know about. <laughs> And honestly, if you've ever tried to connect with a craft mentor only to have them move away from your local area so that they were no longer accessible to you, or worse, turn out to be flakier than a buttermilk biscuit, then you know what a valuable opportunity this is. This particular approach lets you work entirely independently if you want, or you can work with a mentor and with peers to help support you in your study, if you desire that. Format. So there are three course books that cover three years of study. Each course guide includes 51 lessons. Some are easy and quick. Some are longer and more complicated. Each course guide can be completed in one year, but the courses are self-paced, so you can take the time that you want and need. There are 12 units of lessons in each book. The units are all thematically grouped. Most of the units are four lessons long, with the exception of the Sabbath's lesson, which is eight lessons, <laughs> and the initiation unit, which is three lessons. Each book has a checklist and a suggested weekly progression. So you can start at unit one, lesson one, and just work your way numerically through unit 12, lesson three, which is the initiation. But I don't necessarily recommend that. Some ideas in one unit need the ideas and skills in another unit as a foundation to make sense. And that's especially true if you're sort of new to traditional witchcraft or to magical practice in general. 
I'm also going to make the note that year two isn't going to make a lot of sense for you if you haven't read year one. Even if you are a more advanced practitioner and have some foundation, again, this isn't general witchcraft concepts. This is tradition specific material that's being presented in a certain way. And if you're not familiar with how we lay the compass, what our cosmology is like, etc., then a lot of the references aren't going to make as much sense to you and you're going to spend a lot of time retrofitting things. Each lesson lists its prerequisites, the learning objectives, the materials that you're going to need, has study notes, and then also has um, some follow-up things that are going to be useful like assignments or activities to put the new knowledge or skills into practice or to reflect on them and also additional resources and grimoire or Book of Shadows pages. The bulk of each lesson is that study notes section. And that section is meant to represent the kinds of things that I say, the discussions that we engage in when I'm presenting the same material in person at my coven's meetings with new students. Some are short and direct, some are long and complex, some are short and complex, I don't think there are any that are long and direct because I don't think that's possible. The bulk of the work comes from the student, though. That's you. And frankly, that's just how witchcraft is. It is a craft. It is a practice. You are the one who has to do all the things. You have to stir the cauldron's brew for a year and a day in order to be ready for those three drops of wisdom. What I offer is a container and the ingredients. Dang, I've become Caridwin in this metaphor. The grimoire pages that are included in each book are supplements to the study notes. They're supplements for each of the lessons and they are often very reflective of those lessons in a different format. They're offered as a bit of a bonus that you can add to your own personal Book of Shadows, if you desire. So who is the Red Thread Academy for? If you're a fan of this channel, then chances are good that you're going to enjoy both the content and the style or the voice within the book. Books. Multiple books. These books are me teaching. They're my voice, my sense of humor my sometimes poetic, sometimes prosaic style of talking. These books are for anyone who wants to access the actual teachings and rituals of an actual functioning traditional and folkloric craft practice. Whether you're interested in just comparing notes with what it is that you already do and what you studied, whether you're wanting to add usable bits to your own work, or whether you want to be a full-fledged member of the Spiral Castle Clanod, or extended family. Those choices are up to you, but they're all possible with these materials. Heed ye these warnings three. I do have a couple of cautions to give you before you rush right out and buy the books. The work is rigorous. I don't make any apologies for that. It's actually one of the features that I've always enjoyed about the craft. It demands that we bring our whole selves to it. This practice is accessible, but that doesn't make it easy. We don't shy away from hard topics in the Spiral Castle tradition, nor in the Red Thread Academy. We dig into things like sex magic and blasting magic we do those after we have laid the foundations in metaphysics and general magic practices. And we also recognize that shadow work, or that Jungian concept of confronting the shadow, is a part of this tradition, this style of witchcraft, from the beginning. It's going to be too traditional for some and not traditional enough for others. The craft community's views about what tradcraft is, has changed over the years. 
and it's going to keep on changing because that's how ideas and language work. This is the tradcraft that I was taught, or rather it is the tradcraft that my ex and I developed based on what we were taught from our mentors, what we studied independently, and the gnosis that we gained when we were working with each other and also independently. It is good and potent stuff, but it might not be what you're looking for. And that's okay, friend. As one of my buddies says, if you don't like it, then you can't have any. I would temper that with, <laughs> you can have as much as you want and you can use it in the way that makes sense to you. I'm offering it to you, but you don't have to take it. It's not the only way. So could I have tempered those three things in order to be of a broader appeal to audiences? You betcha. But that would have been a lie. It would have been an atrocious inauthenticity perpetuated in the name of commercialism. And I couldn't, I, no, I, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm not capable of doing that. So it's gritty, it's rigorous, and it makes no apologies for being the craft system that it is. So let's talk about next steps. If you're interested in learning more, I've made the curriculum maps for all three course guides, a sample lesson, the entire how to use this course guide chapter, and an FAQ, all available over at the Spiral Castle Trad blog link down below. PDF copies are available on Etsy. Paperback copies are available on Amazon. I'm trying to get hardback copies worked out, but that's like a publishing glitchy mess that it might take a minute. Links to the Etsy and Amazon are also down below. Bonus time! I've actually got two really incredible bonuses to tell you about. The first one is embedded into the course material, into the course guides, and that is expanded access within the Thread app. So I've talked about the Thread app before on the channel a little bit. I advertise it in every single episode. It is a free app um, that I developed for multiple purposes. The free version, actually it's all free. There are all free versions. Of the basic version of this free app just gives you access to the news and notes section, which is what I use instead of an email list because I'm terrible at keeping up with email lists. And it also lets you access things like the chat feature and the contact us feature, that kind of thing, so that you can, mostly so you can communicate directly with me if you like. That's available to anybody. But all RTA students get access to the RTA specific sections of the app. Those special RTA sections include bonus content, audio recordings, videos that are not available elsewhere um, that are specific to the trad, and two monthly Zoom meetings, one of which is a question and answer session and the other one is a social time with other members of the tradition. And as an extra super fun time bonus, I am offering you, my friends, the opportunity to join the Asteria Books review team so that you can access free copies of PDF versions of the books that Asteria Books produces. That includes the Red Thread Academy, The Witch's Key to the Legion, Libra Kane, work from Delilah Temple, including the Witch's Rune series, work from Mother Hopkins, which includes all of the pagan homeschooling stuff, and my work doing um, Aphrodisian things like Aphrodite's Priestess, Cult of Aphrodite, Crown of Violets, Wisdom of Love, Temple of Love. There, there's a lot. There's a lot that you could have access to. You get one book at a time. You get to sign up for the categories that are of interest to you, and we at Asteria Books just send you the next title once it's ready. After you have submitted a review to Amazon, Goodreads, your social media network, YouTube, 
that kind of thing. We are looking for authentic, honest reviews. Space is limited on these review teams though, so if you're interested, sign up down below. And that's all I have to say about that for today, friends. I am really looking forward to hearing your thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions in the comments below. And if you just can't wait until next week to jump into some more witchy goodness with me, then check out this video that's sliding up in your recommendeds right now. Bye, friends. Here come I to call you for